back to another Borderlands 1 builds video where today we are going over the Hoarder Roland build. Oh yeah. Excuse me. This build focuses on the best weapon of every element anti-mag size. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, this build, what it actually does is focuses on the huge mag size. So as you can see for the over that I'm holding right now, the back size is 139. But the purpose is to regen all the ammo that you expand. Just regen it right back. So yeah, bam, it's already done. And yeah, speaking of our weapons, uh, for our backpack items, so the extra items that you don't necessarily need, but if you want to, uh, we have a perfect transfusion and a perfect uh, explosive rubberized. Not entirely needed, but if you want to use them, you can. For our main weapons, we have an ogre. This is the first time me actually used this weapon. Uh, I've never really used an ogre before, but I, I know it's great. And the high fire rate, the high accuracy because of the barrel five that it has, makes it really good. Next up is the Orion. Now, a couple times you've probably seen me just wreck face with mobs with this weapon and there is a build that uh, uses this but I'm not going to say too much but this is good and of course for fire we have the hellfire because why not this is nearly a perfect one but not yet so I'm on the lookout for a perfect one and of course the defiler because it's the defiler my dude yeah this is, this is just one of the best corrosive uh, weapons of the game then we have a pangolin shield, just because what's a, the highest capacity of every shield manufacturer. And of course, a low level longbow for grenade jumping. And of course, the main class motor we're going to be using <coughs> excuse me, is a support gunner com with a plus 25 team ammo regen, which isn't 25 ammo per second, which is what it should be, but it's just whatever that means, 25 for like 5 seconds or something, I don't know. Uh, then the secondary effect has a plus 42% on the team mag size, which brings this from 69, that's not it, to 139. Yeah, for a build, uh, for our artifacts, you can just use whatever you want. I just stick to corrosive. So, the main focus is to use the support tree of using stockpile, grenadier, and supply drop to get all of your ammo back at once. Well, as fast as possible. This this build does not use Metal Storm, surprisingly. So we had the plus 5 on impact for bullet damage. <coughs> plus 5 on sentry, just move down the skill tree, uh, just for extra Scorpio damage, because it could be useful. Refire, so whenever you shoot an enemy, enemy for each pellet that hits, uh, your cooldown will come faster. And for the multi-pellet weapons, like the Orion, if you hit him with all... I believe it was three that can spawn after you ricochet the bullet, you get it three times as fast. And of course, one point in guided missile to stun enemies. This doesn't damage them in any way, unfortunately. Then we have plus five on defense for getting our shield back faster. Stockpile, so when you're in a certain radius of the turret, you start regenning the ammo that's currently in your hands, plus five per second. But because of our com, boosting it to eight, you get 8 ammo per second, which is really good. Including with your supply drop and your normal support gunner comm, it's incredible. <clears throat> Siren going off. But next, we'll plus 5 into quick charge, so whenever we get a kill, we start regenerating our ammo. Also, for another kill skill, we have Grenadier. So when we get a kill, we get bonus grenade damage. Then we start getting our grenades back, allowing us to grenade spam. Of course, deploy, so whenever. Not really one after, but like, we just get a turn back faster. And of course, supply drop plus four, uh, just because I didn't have enough points, just so we can get care packages basically. And lastly, for the medic tree, we have plus five on fitness for maximum health increase. Aid stations, whenever you're in that same radius or where you regenerate ammo, you'll also regen health. Which is really good. Overload increases your max size, which increases your DPS which that in turn increases the amount of ammo you can regenerate per second. Cauterize, only have one point in here because if you have your turret down, you can actually shoot your turret, 
it will start regenerating its health if it becomes damaged. Now, actually, I'll just finish off the last five in stat because if you get killed, you'll start regenerating health. Now, the point of this build was, uh, as I said before, was to regenerate all the ammo that you expand. But the there was another build called the supporter build, which is basically the same thing where you're relying on your multiplayer skills like revive and cauterize. And then of course your support tree through a, a full party of people being a supporter character, kinda helping them out. And I was really hesitant to either call this the supporter build or the hoarder build, but this is just mainly focused on you and your turret. But sooner or later I will release a supporter Roland build for multiplayer. Alright, so we're here in Taylor Town, which is right over in this little area. And we're just gonna go ahead and take out all the mobs and then go for Taylor and his roots over in here. Now, I don't think I said it in the last segment, but you want to basically match your elements. So, of course, we have a lot of fire, uh, I'm sorry, a lot of flesh enemies, so we'll be going for the hellfire. Uh, if we have a lot of enemies with big shields or the turret that's over there, I'm probably going to start off with this, the Orion, or the Defiler. And for any enemies, we can just use this. But yeah, <clears throat> thanks guys for watching, and just enjoy the next segment where it's just me just... This could be the end of the build video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, didn't mention, but this was mainly used for mobbing, but you can do bossing. It's just gonna just take a little bit. But yeah, hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you all next video. Bye.